Hi everyone, if you've been here before, then welcome back to my channel, and if you haven't, then hit that subscribe button. So it is football Sunday, which to some girls watching probably most, that doesn't mean anything. This look is inspired by the Los Angeles Rams. I'm not gonna lie, I am not a hardcore football fan, okay? Growing up, my dad was a Rams fan because back when he was a kid and when he was growing up, the Rams were in LA, and then they moved, and then I have two older brothers. One is a Cowboys fan and one is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Why? I don't know. I was never really into sports, not gonna lie, even though I was a cheerleader in high school and I still did not understand football. Even still, I know the basics, but I don't know all the rules. It's just it's just way too much for me to follow. I, I'm looking at the screen. I'm thinking about, um, you know, what I'm gonna eat later. Then, when I started dating my fiance, he liked the 49ers and, you know, as our relationship got serious, I'm kind of like, I need to choose a team, but I didn't want to commit because I'm like, there was, at the time, there wasn't a ring on this finger, so I'm like, I don't want to commit to a team just because I'm dating you. And then I don't like people who kind of hop. So I was kind of neutral for years. And I was like, well, maybe I should just go with the team that my dad likes. But then I was like, St. Louis Rams is kind of random. And on top of that, my fiance is a 49ers fan, but I don't like their colors. And that's important, girls, okay? <laughs> but then this year they came back to LA. So now I'm like, okay, it's official. I can be a football fan. And I did go to the Rams training camp. And when I watched them practice, girl... I was like, yep, I'm a fan. So yeah, I'm very excited. I personally like the Rams throwback colors versus the newer colors where they do like navy and gold or something like that. Eh -eh, not feeling it. So maybe you're into football, maybe you're not, but you can use this tutorial on this football Sunday to watch instead of watching the games, all right? <laughs> you don't have to be sad like, oh my gosh, pay attention to me, or is that just me? So anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting and get into the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it. I do already have my foundation on and I am wearing the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. So the first thing I'm going to tackle, get it? <laughs> I wanted to say that so bad. So the first thing I'm going to tackle is my eyebrows. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I know some of you said that you don't like when I do videos where you can see the window and the car, because the car's driving by are distracting and I apologize in advance for that. I'm still trying to figure out a filming setup that works for me and also that you guys like. So if you want me to just stick to background filming setups, then let me know. Next I'm gonna grab my Cella highlighter. This one is in cappuccino. And I'm basically going to outline my brows with that to clean it up per use in my videos. I apologize for any background noise. Like I always say, the walls here are paper thin. It just seems like anytime I want to film, somebody happens to be having a conversation about, you know, a new guy they met on Tinder or, you know, something like that. The eye primer that I'm using today is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, and I have used this for years, actually. But for some reason, you know, when you get more product, the ones you use kind of fall by the wayside and you want to use new things. But I'm going to go back to this today because I just really love it. I found it in my kit as I was looking for products to use for this tutorial and I was like, oh, why don't I use that anymore? Beginning first with the neutrals, I'm going to use this Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. This actually came in my last BoxyCharm box. I have a code for BoxyCharm if you guys would like to sign up. I'll leave the link down below. I'm going to get my favorite Inglot 6SS brush and I'm just going to get this shade here. What is it called? It doesn't say, but I'm going to get this warm transitional shade. I'm going to put this in my crease. Next, I'm going to grab my MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to grab this shade right here that is a little bit deeper. So it's not quite the outer corner of my eye, but it's still the crease, but just on the outer side. Now it's time for a little bit of fun. The yellow that I'm using today is by Makeup Forever. It doesn't have a name on the back of it, but it is called the ME400. As I mentioned before, I do like the Rams throwback colors versus the navy and gold. I am going to pack this 
onto a brush and start applying to the inner part of my eye. I'm basically trying to mimic the shape of my eyelid with this yellow. And I'm going to bring that to the center of my lid ever so slightly. If you look at my eyes, you can kind of tell that I'm creating a triangle shape with the eyeshadows. Working with another beautiful Makeup Forever shade, this is an ME216. And again, it's just a royal blue with a little bit of shimmer in it. So I'm going to grab a brush, pack that on there, and then start applying it to the outer part of my lid. Now I'm ever so slightly stroking the brush in between the center of those two colors so that way they transition nicely and it doesn't look like I just have two blotches of colorful eyeshadow on my eyes. Now I'm going to grab a Morphe M139 brush and I'm going to get a deeper brown and put that on the outer corner of my eye to kind of marry the blue and the crease color. Next, I'm going to grab this transitional brown color from this Ofra palette that I've been loving so much. And I'm going to pop that here to create a little bit of depth. Going back to the Studio Makeup palette, I'm going to grab this shimmery light color here and put that at the very top of my brow bone. I'll just do a little bit for now, then blend it out because I didn't expect that to be that pigmented. Going back into this yellow, I am going to apply this on the inner corner of my eye. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use an Italia eye pencil and this one is in royal blue. It's very inexpensive. You can find these probably for less than $2. If you are not the type to wear bright colors all the time, like me, then and you don't want to necessarily invest in an expensive, colorful eyeliner, then this brand is perfect. So I know this looks a little crazy right now, but once we put on our winged eyeliner and our mascara and everything, it's all going to come together. Next, I want to conceal. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. The color that I wear is in Custard. And of course, I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Wouldn't do it any differently. Next, I'm going to apply my cream contour. I'm also using a Makeup Forever HD stick foundation for that. I'm going to do some slight bakeage. I'm not gonna let this set. I find that when I bake my foundation with powder, after a while it literally makes me look like a cake face. And not in the way that I like, you know? I don't mind a cake face, I just don't want to look like a dry, cracked, old cake face. I'm going to just dust that off and blend it out. I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner and I'm not going to go too bold and big with the eyeliner. I just basically want to define my lash line. I'm also keeping the winged liner pretty low as opposed to bringing it high because I don't want the wing to interfere with the color at all. Now that my liner is dry, I'm just going to throw on some mascara and then throw on, throw on some lashes. <laughs> I'm going to fit as many puns into this video as possible. The lashes that I'm using today are actually these Lash in a Box. I bought this entire set because I had a big wedding to do makeup for. Number 10, lash number 10. So we are going to apply these. Now that my lashes are on and the glue's dry, almost kind of, and my eyeliner's dry, I am just going to grab a deep color from this palette and hope that everybody outside stops ruining my freaking video. I'm gonna pop this into the very outer corner so that way there is not a gap. 
Okay. Mm, mm, starting to feel myself. The bronzer that I'm using today is by City Color. And this is very shimmery, so I'm going to use a light hand at first to add a little bit of glow to the face. Kind of like I'm outside at a football game. Yeah. gonna diffuse this a little bit the blush that I'm gonna be using today is by Mac this one is in peachy keen it's a beautiful shimmery peachy color with just a drop of pink put that here this is a NYX soft matte lip cream this one is in buenos ares so i was gonna just do a nude lip and if you decide to recreate this look you could always do a nude lip i'm like you know what i always do a nude so let me do something that's close to a nude so it's safe but it has a little bit of color and i feel like this corally color goes well with the colorful eyeshadow so that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Leave me a comment down below. Do you watch football? Do you like it? Do you watch football by choice or do you watch it just because it's on the TV and your husband or boyfriend or brother or dad or grandpa is watching it and you just don't have any choice? If you do, let me know down below what team is your favorite team. I would love to know. And what do you do on football Sundays? So if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And other than that, you guys will see me in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Did I almost forget to take my selfies? Oh my gosh, this looks bomb. This is like no filter. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs>